Genius 3 has added Docker support from version 1.5. In this series of videos, I'm gonna show you the OpenFlow table of Open vSwitch, and I'll also show you how to integrate Open vSwitch with Open Daylight, which is an SDN or Software Defined Networking Controller. We'll also run a Cisco DevNet Open Daylight OpenFlow application on the Open Daylight controller and use the restconf API to write flows to the Open vSwitch switches running within GNS3. That will allow us to implement policies such as permitting or denying flows between devices or logically recabling the network to create a virtual patch panel within Open vSwitch. So what is Open vSwitch? It's a production quality, multi-layer, open virtual switch. And it's licensed under the open source Apache 2 license. As an analogy, this is very similar to VMware's V Network Distributed vSwitch or Cisco's Nexus 1000V. This switch supports traditional protocols such as SFlow, SPAN, RSPAN, LACP, VLANs, traffic queuing and traffic shaping, but in addition supports software-defined networking protocols such as OpenFlow and OVSDB. You can see a full list of features that this switch supports on the Open vSwitch website, which I've linked below. So now let's look at how to download Open vSwitch onto Genius 3 and leverage Docker for easy integration. In this example, I'm using GNS3 2.0. When I go to GNS3 preferences and look at the Docker containers, we can see that no containers currently exist in GNS3. So I'm going to go to the GNS3 website, go to Marketplace, go to Appliances, and search for Open vSwitch. I'm going to select Open vSwitch with Management Interface. We told that this version of the appliance has a management interface on Ethernet 0. I want that because I want to integrate Open vSwitch with OpenFlow controllers and write OpenFlow rules to the OpenFlow table of Open vSwitch. So here's an overview of the product. I've given you those details already, so I'm going to download the template. I'm using a Mac here, but the process is very similar on Windows. My Mac has changed the GNS3 appliance extension to a text file, so I'll set it back. So the appliance that I've downloaded is Open vSwitch Management. So in GNS3, I'm going to go to File, Import Appliance, select Open vSwitch, and click Open. We're given an overview of the switch once again, and we're told that it'll be added to the multi-layer switch category. It's an open vSwitch, and the maintainer is the GNS3 team. I'm gonna click Next. I'm gonna run this appliance on the GNS3 VM. That's recommended because I'm using a Mac. So I'm gonna click Next. We're told that 16 adapters will be added. The first interface will be the management interface. Click Next. We're told that the appliance will be available in the multi-switch category and that Ethernet Zero is the management interface. By default, all other interfaces will be connected to BR Zero. So you need to remember that because that's the OpenFlow bridge that we're going to interrogate and update flows on. Click Finish. Now we're told that Open vSwitch has been installed. Notice now what happens when I add the switch to the workspace. So I'm going to drag an Open vSwitch to the workspace. 
And notice Genius 3 has downloaded software automatically. So we have successfully pulled the Genius 3 Open vSwitch or latest image from the internet. So essentially the operating system has automatically been installed just by me dragging the Open vSwitch to the workspace. What I'm gonna do now is add two routers to the topology. These are 3725 VM routers. In other words, they're running on the GNS3 VM. I'll connect them to Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2, not to Ethernet 0, because Ethernet 0 is a management interface. I'm gonna use that interface to connect the open vSwitch switch to an SDN controller. So here's my topology. I'll start up the devices and open up a console. So IF config shows me that various interfaces are available on the switch, including BR0. So let's look at some open vSwitch details. So firstly, OVS VSCTL, or as some pronounce it, VS Kettle Show. What you'll notice here is that Bridge Zero, or BR Zero, has all of these interfaces added to it. It includes the internal interface or local interface, that's the local management stack of the switch. There are also some additional bridge interfaces on the switch. So let's look at the ports on Bridge Zero. The command to do that is OVS OFCTL or OF Kettle, if you prefer that again, hyphen O, OpenFlow13, dump ports BR0. This shows us, for instance, the packets received and the bytes received on various ports. The ports that are of interest to us are port one and port two. And you can see that packets are already being transmitted on that port, but none are being received at the moment. I still need to configure router one and router two. Let's look at the flow table of the switch. So dump flows shows us that the switch is using OpenFlow version 1.3. At the moment, we have a single OpenFlow table table zero, it has a single flow entry in it with a priority of zero. This is called a table miss in OpenFlow and traffic is being sent to the normal pipeline. So the action is output normal. In other words, we are matching all traffic because there's no specific match statement here and we're sending traffic to the traditional routing and switching pipeline. So traffic is being sent from the open flow pipeline to the traditional routing and switching pipeline. So let's configure router one with an IP address of 10.1.1.1. And I'll configure router two with an IP address of 10.1.1.2. And hopefully router two should be able to ping router one through the open flow switch, which it can. So if we look at the ports again, previously we had no packets received. But now we see that packets have been received on port one, as well as port two. Do the ping again. Previously, we had 13 packets on port one. Now we have 20 packets on port one. So the number of received packets is incrementing. So is the transmitted packets. So that's an example of how to leverage Docker to get Open vSwitch installed in GNS3. What I'm gonna do in a subsequent video is integrate the Open vSwitch switch with the HPE Van Estian controller and then with Open Daylight. 
hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.